Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So today in this video, I'm going to talk about the gua sha and the jade roller because these two things have gone viral on Instagram and a lot of people are using them and you know like a lot of people don't know how to use them so I made a very cool video on my gram a lot of people liked that video and they told me that you know it's very helpful to make a video about the jade roller so here I am talking about these two things I have my jade roller with me this is how it looks um, and I have my guasa this is the guasa. Um, this comes in a lot of shapes and sizes. I have this one for the purpose of the video. So both these tools are being used for lymphatic drainage, relaxing the body, toning of the face, the sculpting of the face, and there are many more uses of both these things. It is flushing out of the toxins from your body and uh, we have to regularly do it for our face as well because we don't want any toxins in our face. Both these tools are like really ancient tools and they've been used for lymphatic drainage and for face sculpting for many many years. So the difference between the two is that gua sha actually has more benefits than a jade roller. It goes deeper into the whole relaxation, the lymphatic and toning. Jade roller is much 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 more easier to use on the on the face, like it's not so technical. You can just like uh, be roaming around the house, rolling your face with a jade roller, it really doesn't matter. But with gua sha, like you have to get used to it. But a lot of people think that you have to use these tools very harshly on your face, like you have to press really hard. For, for you to activate the lymphatic drainage, it actually is the opposite. You have to be really gentle and light with these two. If you use them harshly, they would cause more damage than good. And we definitely don't want that. So the gentle reminder to be using these tools is that you have to use them very lightly with a gentle hand. Even the smallest of touch can activate your lymphatic drainage. Let's get into the video. First things first, I am going to make sure my face is clean. I wash my face. And I put a lip balm because I want my lips to look pink. And obviously, I'm gonna tie my hair because let's get everything out of the way while we are pampering our faces, right? Well, I do the guasa about two to three times a week because uh, you don't need more than that. For the jade roller, I do it even when I'm roaming around the house because I really don't hold back when I'm doing it because it's so easy to use. I'm gonna be using this Rene Under Eye Cream for my under eye because I really need some as you can see. I recently got this and I'm gonna take a pea size amount of it and lay it under my eye. It's really important to moisturize your under eyes because that's the most gentle area and you really need it to stay hydrated when you're using some face massage tools. Leftover I'm gonna just put on my smile line now for my face, I'm going to be taking the Pagane Eternal with Glow Nectar Dry Oil Serum. It's super good. I already have dry skin, so I need something on my face. I'm just going to take a few drops, put it on my forehead, put it on my cheeks, put it everywhere that I need, even the neck. It's very important for all the tools that you use to slide on your face to easily glide and not create any friction. Oh my god, it smells so good. It smells like a little spa. So I love putting this on my face and you have to make sure that everything is covered with oil. You guys can choose whatever suits your face. Uh, coconut oil works very good for me as well. So now that we've prepped our skin, let's start using the jade roller on our face. I love putting my jade roller in the refrigerator. I like it cold on my face. I start with my neck and roll it downwards. It's actually the opposite when it comes down to your neck. You have to start from your jawline and clear the passage down to your clavicle bone. And you keep rolling it, um, roll it three to five times at the same spot and then you can change. You can also roll along your clavicle bone. It's basically clearing out the whole passage so that when you roll your face, the toxins have a clear way to get out of your body. So now coming to your face, you have to take the big side of the roller, start from your chin area and you can push the whole roller, glide it, take it back to your jawline and then pull it down. Push those fluids down, it's really important. I also like to roll over my lips because I like very plump, fleshy lips. So I do it again 3-4 times over my lips 
Now it's time to accentuate the cheekbones. I really like sculpting, lifting, toning my cheekbones. So I spend a little extra time on my cheekbones. I do it very slowly, very nicely. I lift my cheekbones up high and this gives me the model like cheekbone. And now headed towards my under eye. I'm going to use the smaller part of the roller and use it very gently again from the inner corner, taking it out to the outer corner. It's really important that you put really less pressure because the under eye area is really sensitive. <laughs> Let's exaggerate the cat eye because I know we all love it. So I'm going to massage, I'm going to roll, sorry, my roller two, three times on the cat eye making it more visible so now moving on to my brows let's give these bad boys a little lift i'm gonna use the bigger side and push my brows up again doing it three four times on one spot and then moving it to the next brow doing it again two three times i really like the whole look of the botox brow like where your brow looks a little lifted now i'm gonna roll my brow horizontally because that's also really important that you do it both sides. For the forehead, I'm just going to keep rolling it up and down. And actually, it's so soothing to do this. It's, it's so therapeutic. Like, I just do it all the time. I just love the jade roller. Walk around the house doing it. It's so easy. Also do the nose. Again, push it up. And then drain everything down get those toxins out of the body. So now coming down to glossa, I would like to reiterate, uh, please do not use it harshly on your skin. Number one, number two, always lay the glossa flat on your skin, don't rub the edge. So it has to glide and slide flat on your skin for it to really work because this is too harsh. And also do remember when you take the glossa down, you have to take it down and when you end it, you gotta wiggle it because that's how the drainage system starts. I'll show you how to massage your face with this beautiful tool. Now I'm gonna take this divot side mm -hmm. and squeeze my spine. By doing this, you're kind of massaging your entire nervous system because this is where everything branches out from. So after doing it two, three times, you come to the front. Again, we're gonna pull the gua sha flat from under our ear to our shoulders and wiggle it in the end. Do it 3-4 times and then move to the other side. For this video, I'm just going to do half of my face because I've already done the jade rolling. And then you come down to the center, do the same thing. Now you massage the clavicle bone again from the center, go to the side towards your shoulder, wiggle it in the end and <laughs> I'm just going to move on to the face. I'm going to use the same side of the gua sha to roll. Take from my chin, pull it towards my ear and wiggle it towards the end. So this is how you do it. Um, you can see that I am not putting too much pressure because you have to use this minimal pressure. Now coming to our cheekbones, my favorite area, your favorite area. I take the gua sha, pull it a little upwards because I want really high cheekbones. So I'm going to pull it and then do the wiggle. So for the under eye, I'm going to take this small curve and with the least amount of pressure, basically I'm just touching it lightly, feather touching it. Again, I create that cat eye three times, four times and now the brows. So let's lift the brows. I'm going to take the curved end, pull the brows up, take them high and wiggle it. Now we're going to do the same thing vertically. Oh my god guys, can you see the difference? Now I'm going to complete my forehead, complete my nose and just uh, fast forward everything for you all to see and keep massaging my face a little bit more because I'm now into it and I really am enjoying it. So I'm going to do that and see you on the other side. So that's it you guys. This is my video on Gua Sha versus the Jade Roller and you can use any for your skin 
and your face but you have to remember that you have to do it over time for it to show results if you haven't watched my previous video please go do watch it it's my makeup routine and a lot of storytelling about me growing up in india and thank you so much for being here please do subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram and i'll see you guys next time